Grade 6 math number 10.11. What are linear equations? The solution of an equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the equation true. 3 and 6 is a solution of the equation 2xy because 2 times 3 equals 6. It fits. It makes it true. A linear equation is an equation whose solution form a straight line, linear, line, get it? It makes a straight line on the coordinate plane, on here, see? Any point on the line is a solution for the equation. For 2x equals y, it could be, x could be, see these are the x, and these are the y, right here, this is x, sorry. So x could be 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12. So all of these are solutions for this linear equation, see? And it'll keep on going. A car drives 60 miles per hour. Write a linear equation for the function that gives the distance y in miles that the car travels in x hours. Then graph the function. All right. It goes 60 miles per hour. So the distance is y, that's how far it goes, and the rate is 60, and it's multiplied by the time, an hour. So for every hour, it goes 60, and that'll, that'll equal y. So we find ordered pairs that are solutions. If it goes one hour, it goes 60 miles. Two hours, it'll go 120 miles, and so on, see? Then we graph the functions and draw a line to show all the solutions. So here's the distance in miles, 0 to 360 I went, and here's the time in hours. So in one hour it goes 60, in two hours it goes 120, in three hours it goes 180, in four hours it goes 240 miles, see? And then you draw a line, and then everything on this line would be considered a solution for that equation. And there's no negative values because the car is traveling a distance forward each hour, see? So we're going this way. And the time doesn't go backwards, see? Time can't go backwards, so... All right, so it says graph the linear equation y equals x plus 3. So I did. These are the, cir the red circle rings. That's why there's red circles next to this. I found ordered pairs that fit solutions to this equation. 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 3 is 7, and they're all solutions to this equation. And then I made ordered pairs out of these, see, on the table. Then I was able to graph the ordered pairs and draw a line connecting all the solutions. So the line would be coming straight through the red dots like that, see? And that would be every solution to that equation, okay? All right, so the next one says, write a linear equation for the function shown by the graph. So here's the graph. We've got 9 and 4 for the x and y, and then 8 and 3, and then 7 and 2, and 6 and 1, and 5 and 0. So we used ordered pairs in the graph to complete the table, okay? So this was the drawing on the graph. We were just given this, and we were told to write a linear equation for the function shown by this. So what I did was I found ordered pairs like 9 and 4 and 8 and 3 and 6 and 1 was here. And look, I've got 4 and negative 1, and I've got uh, 2 and negative 3. And then I could just keep going on down the line. Well, I did it with all positive numbers to make it easy. And I wrote the ordered pairs that I found on the line in my table. And I looked for a pattern. And the pattern is that there was a subtraction of 5 to get to y. So x minus 5 equals y. 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 minus 5 is 2. See, x minus 5 is going to equal y. So I was able to write this linear equation, x minus 5 equals y, 
and that fits the line that was given to me on the graph. See? So if you have a problem and it says, okay, here's the line, now you make an equation and you make a table of ordered pairs, just find little intersections where it, land, where it crossed through and make ordered pairs out of it. Like this one is a 4 and then a negative 1 because we do x first, right? And then we do y. This was on the 9 and then on the 4 for the y. So it was 9x, 4y, see? And then you can make your own table and then look for a pattern in the table. Look at what x is doing, look what y is doing, and look what they're doing compared to each other, okay? And then you'll be able to make an equation too, okay? If you have any questions about any of this, you can go back to the grade 6 math number 10.8, because we're in 10.11 right now. And that explains functions and these guys. Or you could watch the grade 6 math number 10.9a or 9b for the x and y and the coordinate plane, and it'll explain this coordinate plane. And if that's too difficult, you can go back to the grade 5 math number 9.2, and it'll explain it a little bit easier for you, okay? But that's what linear equations are. They're equations that make a line on a coordinate plane that every point on the plane that the line goes through would make the equation true. See? And then you make an xy table like this out of the ordered pairs and you can see what the sequence and the pattern is to figure out what the equation is. Okay? Or the other way around. You can make a line from this, couldn't you? From these ordered pairs. You can draw your own line. Okay? I'll see you next video. Keep trying. Bye.